with Andrew and I'm here in the Edinburgh Massbeck Core Laboratory building our contribution to masses to the masses. Hi, I'm Natalie Homer and I'm the um, Mass Spectrometry Core Manager and we're part of Edinburgh Clinical Research Facility and we're going to introduce to you to our favourite mass spectrometer in our lab which is our 5500 Q-Trap. Here it is. We refer to this as our blue trap. Um, you can see that attached to it also it's got a UHPRC system. What we tend to do is we introduce our samples here in the UHPRC system and they separate out the samples and then they're detected in the mass spectrometer here. So, how old is this system, Natalie? Well, this system's about five years old. It was funded by the Wellcome Trust, and in the lifetime of the system, is, um, it's always encouraged to try and get new systems uh, if you can. And we've actually invested more recently in uh, a 6500 plus QTRAP. So it's all the same manufacturer, all the same software that we use to, to manage it. Um, but it's, it's improved technology, so, so that's very exciting to have that system. But going back to this 5500, which is what we've done a lot of work on in the past five years, we've developed a lot of assays and, and worked on a lot of projects in this particular study. That's great. So that's the new trap and the blue trap that we That's have. right, that's what we refer to them as. <laughs> so can you tell us about some of the science that we do? So some of the science, we work with a lot of doctors um, and from different specialties, um, one of which was a project uh, funded by the Royal College of Surgeons, looking at the effects of paracetamol um, on people who had undergone liver surgery. And it was recognised that people who have liver surgery are obviously a bit more prone to the toxicity of paracetamol. So we were able to distinguish differences between various different subjects. So that's been interesting. What about our famous client? We have a very famous client. <laughs> so in the mass spectrometry core, we um, have been analysing samples from the Edinburgh Zoo Panda. And we're able to look at the reproductive cycle of the panda and also help to recognise whether they're pregnant or not. Our fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, absolutely. <laughs> so, how many people work in the lab? In the lab, we have um, we have three members of our of our core facility, and we tend to have two working on the systems uh, on a daily basis. But we also host a lot of postgraduate students and PhD students from all across the world. We've got a PhD student from Saudi Arabia. We have lots of Europeans. We have Americans, and we have collaborative projects with Sweden and Finland that I can think of off the top of my head. So we have a lot of collaborations have a lot of different funding bodies that support this. Um, a particularly interesting project that we dealt with is a project with Sri Lanka looking at pesticides uh, and the effects of self-harm and pesticides caused within that population. Of course we work with industry as well. We? we also work with industry. We've got a really strong collaborative work with uh, GlaxoSmithKline which um, has actually led to a lot of um, very good publications from our facility. So just to finish up, why do you, why do you really like this instrument? This system is really very sensitive and it's allowed us to look at drug levels over um, long periods of time. You can do studies that look, over, look at the drugs over a period of time and it's a sensitive and accurate system and triple protocols really are the way to go if you want to do sensitive quantitative analysis. I think I really like the sample hotel too. The sample hotel is excellent. We've got 10 rows here where we can actually have almost 100 samples in each row and that allows us to run up to a thousand samples over a weekend. Um, in this system here, we're also able to have four columns. If you have four columns lined up over a weekend, you can really manage your samples really well and get through projects really quickly. And then come Monday morning, you come in and look and see what your results are, and that's exciting in itself.